Good afternoon and welcome to our 2020 Grand Piano Celebration. My name is Linda Appelmanson and I serve as director of the School of Music of George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. We are so delighted that you are joining us for this momentous and historic occasion. On behalf of our entire School of Music faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends of music at Mason, we are thrilled and honored that our School of Music is now renamed the Riva and Sid Dewberry Family School of Music in honor of the Dewberry's lifetime legacy of giving and generous support of our beloved school. The name Dewberry symbolizes outstanding quality, excellence, extraordinary commitment, innovation, and long-standing relationships. The Riva and Sid Dewberry Family School of Music embraces these same qualities, especially with our goal of excellence in all areas of music education and performance, and with extraordinary commitment from our outstanding music faculty in teaching, inspiring, and mentoring the next generation of artist scholars. Mr. Dewberry, you have expressed to me that you want our Mason School of Music to be one of the very best music schools in the United States and the world, especially for future music teachers and for performers. You've expressed that your dream is to put Mason music on top of the heap. Well, it's happening. Your transformational gifts of incredible scholarship endowment support for our Mason Music students is indeed helping to make this dream become true. Our world-class faculty, the excellence of our comprehensive music programs, our innovative curriculum, our tremendous performance and research opportunities, our beautiful performance venues, our fabulous Steinway instruments all help to provide an exceptional musical education for extraordinary student artists who come to Mason from our great Commonwealth of Virginia, from throughout the United States, and from many countries throughout the world. These gifted artist scholars choose to come to George Mason University because they know they will have a phenomenal musical education within a top tier research university. To you, our wonderful audience joining us today, thank you for joining us as we celebrate the gift of music with performances by amazing young artists in the Riva and Sid Dewberry Family School of Music. If I had to think of just a few words to describe this amazing man and, and this lifetime of service, the first would be service. He has served his country, he served his community, he served his university, he served his profession, he served his family. Extraordinary, inspiring, focused, and he's going to make good things happen. Once I get my doctoral degree, it will all, you know, like thanks to the Dewberry Scholarship because without it, I would not be here today. He's been involved with Mason for a long time and he's been such an influential contributor to this university in so many ways, not only as a philanthropist, but as the rector of the Board of Visitors. He was also the chair of the very first comprehensive campaign. I even uh, wrote a song for the uh, campaign celebration. You want to hear it? I do. This is for Sid. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Next time we practice, you're going to slap my hand because I haven't done much practicing. We arranged an appointment in the performance center for 10 a.m. one morning. I had never met 
she had never met me. So I went in and didn't see anybody. Nobody was there. So I said, good, I'm going to leave. And as I was leaving, someone came up and tapped me on the shoulder. She'd been hiding over there somewhere. She said, are you Mr. Dewberry? I said, yeah. So she said, I'm Dr. Martin. I'm going to teach you to play the piano. I said, yeah. She said, come with me. I just know that, that the special relationship that he has with Linda and with the students in the School of Music, the piano students and other students, he will do surprising things, surprising offers of generosity. The first thing that he ever, that, that he usually does when, um, when we get there is he would stand up and shake everybody's hands. Mr. Dewberry has done so much for this university, giving of his own leadership skills, he specialized in making great things happen. It's just something that seems to come out of his soul where he says, I, I want to do something positive for this institution that has done so much for the community and, and for, I think, him personally as well. I recognize that the university had a real possibility of becoming something. I really believe music is going to be the, the one thing that's going to help make Mason more famous, more recognized than it already is. The Steinway Initiative really transformed the School of Music. And you think, okay, just pianists? But no, every single music student has to learn something about the piano. I remember the first day that I came here for the audition, and um, besides the enthusiastic but Dr. Monson, I also remember that she showed me all the practice room with Steinway and Sons. It's very expensive to live in America. It's even worse when you're living in America and trying to um, pursue higher education. That scholarship allows me to study music to the fullest extent that I can without any financial burden. Um, you know, a lot of people have to work two, one job to get through the college studies. After this and whatever success I'm going to have in the future, it's partly, it's a huge part that I have to thank the, the scholarship. I just um, got a spot at the Commandant's Own Drum and Bugle Corps. It's under the Marine Corps. One of the premier bands, actually. It, it's an exciting opportunity for me to work with the Commandant's Own Drum and Bugle Corps. So scholarship support enables us to be able to really attract and retain some of the very best and brightest artists uh, in the world. I'd like to dedicate this piece to the airmen and the soldiers Marines and all the guys in Iraq and Afghanistan. The stars and stripes forever. This is for Sid. You're the top. As the campaign chairman, you're the top. You're a very rare man. As an engineer, there's not a peer in sight. You span hills and ridges with roads and bridges and build them right. Dun, 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 dun. So anyway, it went on. And that was performed on the concert hall stage by a group of uh, Mason singers. This has been really the last few years where Mason has really become on the map in terms of our school of music. We are attracting students from every corner of the world, uh, from Asia, from South America, from literally everywhere. Why? Because excellence speaks. Our graduates do well. Mason is a lauded institution, and we have world-class faculty. The Riva and Sid Dewberry Family School of Music what a wonderful resonant name that is, or, or the Dewberry School of Music, to give it its short handle, is a transformative moment for the College of Visual and Performing Arts. It's the first named school within our college, and that sends a signal not only about the School of Music, but about the College of Visual and Performing Arts itself, and about George Mason, that this is a place to be reckoned with. Great institutions don't become great by themselves. They become great because People in the community make them great. And that is a big part of what has happened here. This is a very fitting recognition for a person who has meant so much, not only to the history of this university, 
but also to the history of our community. The ability to make good music is a talent given to us, is born in us. But very few of us can learn to play an instrument at the top level of people in the world. And she has the ability to attract the top students who eventually will turn out to be well known in their own rights. And they are the ones who will go ahead to make Mason famous. Thank you, Sid, Reva, and family. With our heartfelt gratitude, thank you. Hi, my name is Megan Slay, and I'm getting my Master's of Music in Piano Performance here at George Mason. I'm so thankful for the continual support of friends and faculty during this time. And I'm extremely grateful for the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. Sid Dewberry towards the School of Music. This makes my studies here possible and the sharing of beautiful music a reality. Our first performer is solo pianist Megan Slay, a Richmond, Virginia native, pursuing her master's degree in piano performance at Mason. She will perform Baroque Italian composer Domenico Scarlatti's beautiful sonata in D minor, K141. Mason Nation. My name is Jalen Mitchell and I'm a sophomore music major with a double concentration in music education and vocal performance. Growing up in Norfolk, Virginia, I went to a high school that out of 887 students, 711 looked like me. Many of these brilliant students had dreams of going to college, but because scholarships were not readily available to them, these dreams had to be put on hold. Thanks to my scholarship from Mr. Dewberry and the Dewberry family, I'm able to pursue my dream of singing in a professional opera and teaching others. Thank you, Mr. Dewberry and the Dewberry family for helping my education and dreams come true. We are excited to present voice and piano for our next performance. We have performing today, Jalen Mitchell, baritone from Chesapeake, Virginia, a sophomore in vocal performance and music education, and pianist Jiye Kim, coming to Mason all the way from Seoul, Korea. Jiye is pursuing a DMA, Doctor of Musical Arts in Piano Performance at Mason. Together they are performing Handel's beautiful Ombra My Fu.
My name is Matthew Hoffman, and I'm a junior horn major here at Mason. When I was looking for colleges, the faculty at Mason absolutely blew me away. The combination of Mason's great location right next to Washington, D.C., and its great staff made my college decision a no-brainer. Thanks to this scholarship, I have the ability to work with this amazing faculty every single day. Thank you, Mr. Dewberry and the Dewberry family for making my education possible. Hi, I'm Nicole Decker and I'm a music technology student also pursuing a business minor. Because of my scholarship, I am able to buy extra oboe reeds and reed making equipment when needed without needing to work extra hours in order to do so. Because of this, I can also spend more time focusing on my academics and practicing for the large ensembles that I plan. Thank you, Mr. Dewberry and your family for giving me the ability to make the best music that I can in the incredible ensembles offered at George Mason. Our next performer, solo pianist, Christina Bardwaj. Coming to us from India, she is performing Franz Liszt's paraphrase on Verdi's Rigoletto. Christina is a junior studying piano performance.
We are thrilled to present a delightful work by African American composer John W. Work, Jr., entitled Soliloquy. This will be performed by soprano Nairobi King, a Virginia native, studying vocal performance. She's a junior. And the pianist is Ying Fei Li in our DMA, Doctor of Musical Arts, piano performance degree at Mason. Ying Fei comes to us from China, did a master's at Indiana University. My name is Luke Ratcliffe, and I'm currently enrolled in George Mason University School of Music in the graduate program studying piano. Thanks to my scholarship, I'm able to focus all my time and energy on learning and growing as a musician here. Additionally, I don't have a lot of the other expenses that would otherwise take away from the work that I'm doing here at school. So with this, a very heartfelt thank you to you, Mr. Dewberry, for your support and to the Dewberry family for your wonderful support for me and so many other students like me. Thank you very much. Luke Ratcliffe, solo pianist, is our next performer. Luke is in the master's program at George Mason University in piano performance. Luke has distinguished himself as a pianist and a composer at the Juilliard School of Music in New York City. We are delighted to have Luke perform today Sergei Rachmaninoff's beautiful Etude Tableau in E flat minor, Opus 39, number 5.
Our next performers are Nairobi King Soprano, Rosemary Wright Mezzo Soprano, performing a beautiful duet from Mozart's opera Cosi Fan Tutti. The pianist is Guy Young Lee. Guy Young is in the DMA program in piano performance at Mason. Elizabeth Leung and I'm a recent George Mason alumna. The Monson Scholarship allowed me to continue working as a full-time music educator, further my education, and expand my repertoire. The scholarship money helped make school more affordable so that I could focus on my middle school students while earning my degree. Thank you, Mr. Dewberry and your family for your generous contributions to the school. My name is Hunter Wirt and I'm a sophomore studying percussion performance. This scholarship has helped me so much in so many different ways, from rent to percussion equipment and especially the fantastic lessons here at Mason. I'm so proud to be here. 
and thanks to this scholarship, my family and I have much less worries. Thank you, Mr. Dewberry and the Dewberry family for making my education at Mason possible. It truly means the world to me. We have an exciting work by Sergei Prokofiev, third movement of his Sonata No. 7, performed by DMA pianist Hakyung Kelly Park. Hakyung is a native of Seoul, Korea. She is pursuing the DMA at Mason, and she did a Master of Music at the Hart School of Music and also studied at NYU Steinhardt. My name is Ethan Walter, and I am a freshman pursuing a Bachelor of Music in Violin Performance. This wonderful scholarship has made it possible for me to attend George Mason University. I am incredibly grateful to be surrounded by talented musicians and learn from the expert faculty. This will prepare me to play in a professional orchestra in the future. Thank you, Mr. Dewberry and the Dewberry family for making this experience possible. We have an exciting duo piano work by Witold Lutislawski. Our performers are two outstanding doctoral pianists. Hakyang Kelly Park, this time she is joined by Estrella Sejun Hung. Estrella is also pursuing the DMA in piano. Estrella is a biochemist in addition to being a pianist. Estrella has studied at Harvard 
and in California at noted institutions. She is now finishing her doctorate at Mason. Enjoy this incredible work by Witold Lutislawski. We hope you have been enjoying our marvelous student artists who have been performing for us in the first half of this concert. We are now going to have the opportunity to hear a number of faculty performances. I am so delighted and honored to have joined me today Juliana Nickel, flute, Harold Summy, drums, and in this first piece, Chris Monson, my son, bassist, in a work sweet for flute and jazz piano trio by Claude Bowling. Please enjoy.
2007, George Mason University's School of Music became an all-Steinway school. The catalyst behind making this happen is none other than Mr. Sid Dewberry. We are so delighted to be able to present to you an excerpt from a concert in spring of 2008 where Mr. Dewberry conducted our Mason Symphony Orchestra in John Philip Sousa's March, Stars and Stripes Forever. Now you will get to see and hear this historic moment with the maestro himself, Mr. Dewberry, directing our Mason Symphony Orchestra. I know you will enjoy. Stars and Stripes Forever. Hello, I'm Greg Washington, president of George Mason University, and I'm honored to pay tribute to Sid Dewberry and the Dewberry family. When I learned that our wonderful School of Music would be renamed in honor of the Dewberries, I was eager to learn more about Sid, his family, and their contributions to Mason. What I learned was inspiring. Sid, your love of learning, your generosity, and your dedication to excellence truly embody the Mason spirit. Your history is bound together with Mason's history. Just look around our campus. Each time a student walks into Dewberry Hall in the Johnson Center, they have you to thank. Each time an engineer takes a course in the Sid and Reva Dewberry Department of Civil, Environmental, and Infrastructure Engineering, you've made a difference. As rector of the Board of Visitors, as the chair of Mason's first fundraising campaign, and as one of our most generous volunteer leaders, your contribution to our students and faculty have been extraordinary. You have always taught us to aim high and to have big dreams, 
even impossible dreams. But like an engineer, you've always had a plan for how to make the seemingly impossible become a reality. Here at the School of Music, you led the initiative to make Mason an all Steinway school. As someone who loves the piano, you knew just how important that standard of quality was to our students and to their education. By endowing scholarships that attract the best artist scholars to Mason from every background and every walk of life, you make Mason's commitment to inclusive excellence a true reality. And now your love of music and support of the arts culminates in the naming of the Riva and Sid Newberry family School of Music. With these gifts, we are well on our way to fulfilling your dream of seeing Mason join the top tier schools of music in the nation and the world. Thank you, Sid, for everything you have done to make dreams come true. I know the Dewberry family's legacy will live on here at Mason forever. Mr. Dewberry, you've asked me several times in recent years, what is your greatest need to take the School of Music to the next level? I've always answered you in the same way, significant support for music scholarships. The key question is how to make the dream of access to excellence a reality for the many gifted artist scholars who wish to study at Mason but simply do not have the funds to make this happen by creating a scholarship endowment that attracts the very finest musicians to Mason from all backgrounds, you are making Mason's commitment to inclusiveness and excellence a reality. I am so thrilled to announce today that the Reba and Sid Dewberry family, along with a few additional generous supporters, have established a $5 million gift for the Linda Apple Monson Endowed Scholars Fund with current and pledged support. Indeed, you and your family are truly making the impossible become possible as young artists are now and will forever be able to pursue their dreams. I know that a favorite song of yours, to dream the impossible dream, has lyrics that resonate with your goals in creating music scholarship gifts in perpetuity for our school. This is my quest to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, 
no matter how far. I can guarantee to the Dewberry family that as the lyrics continue, the world will be better for this. And today we're happy to commemorate this new commitment with a signing ceremony where you, Mr. Dewberry, President Washington, and Vice President Alden will all sign this commitment in honor of this transformational gift of scholarship endowment for our music school that will not only change the lives of current and future artists at Mason, but also makes the world a better place through the life-affirming gift of music. Thank you. 